Okay, Paul. Uh, so this is a, this is the packing lid. Uh, in your boat, there's a piece of rubber hose. And this one's just extra long, but anyway, that, that this actually goes into, and then this slides on uh, on a fitting in the keel of your boat where the prop shaft goes through. This is the main part that we're concerned about. So uh, I actually have a piece of a of a pipe in here, and it's it was pretty it's pretty tight. I've got it. I've really clamped the packing down on this on this. Uh, piece of pipe, it's simulating the shaft. I've got it clamped down pretty tight. So, and what I can see is that I have a whole bunch of adjustment threads left. When I look at this, I can I can know that I have a lot of adjustment left. So if I'm leaking out of here, then what I would do, I wouldn't worry about repacking because I know I've got a lot of adjustment left. So to, to adjust, this is a jam nut and this is your packing gland. So the first thing you gotta do is loosen your jam nut. And then and then you tighten this nut. You tighten this nut a little further until you have just like three drops every minute. Now that's nirvana. You're gonna have 10 drops a minute or you're gonna have like zero drops a minute. And that's another way you could do it is just tighten it enough, to, just enough that you have zero drops. And then you, by the time you get done using it for the day, you'll probably have your three drops a minute. Um, you can tighten this too tight. I had a guy working for me that tightened this too tight and it actually couldn't even get the engine to rotate the shaft because the shaft, this, this was gripping the shaft so tightly. So anyway, you just tighten this nut enough to to stop the leak, and then you come back and you tighten you tighten your jam nut again. And I'm using some pretty big channel locks. I think you, I like the big channel locks because I don't have to put a lot of leverage on them. At the same time, you might have trouble fitting the big ones like this into the into the cavity that you're working with. But anyway, so. Uh, you just tighten these two against one another and you can get more English on it in that direction. So you tighten those two again against one another and then this packing is not going to move. It's not going to back off. So again, just by just if you look in your boat and you've got a lot of threads, we well, don't even have to have a lot of threads. If you have any threads showing, you have adjustment room and all you need to adjust it is it adjust it, you don't have to repack it. So let me show you what's inside. That's that's the process of adjusting. So let me show you what's inside this thing. And and as when I tighten that I got that to where I can couldn't can't move this at all. Okay. So here's what's in your packing gland. So there's a packing material in here. I'll grab some off the shelf in here in a minute. But as you tighten this nut, the packing is trapped between here and the shaft and this outer part of this housing in the nut. That's where your, your packing is trapped in there. So as you tighten it, your packing then expands towards the towards the outside of the net, and it also expands towards the outside diameter of the shaft, and that's what seals the water off from coming into your boat. Um, and just a real quick, the packing looks like. And good, I got the quarter inch packing. That's what the packing actually looks like. So if you don't have any any adjustment left, then you take that apart and you put another wrap of this material uh, around around your shaft and put your packing net back on and tighten her down. And it's 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 actually that simple. It's really crude technology, but it's that's what's been being used for literally hundreds of years. All right, cool. Thank you.